Mendel observed his third principle of inheritance by crossing two organisms with two heterozygous traits in a dihybrid cross. Think monohybrid, mono one. So monohybrid crosses involve one trait, dihybrid, di two. Dihybrid crosses involve two traits. So Mendel's third principle is called the law of independent assortment, which states that genes of different traits are inherited separately. For example, in Mendel's dihybrid cross, he examined pea color and pea shape. So these are the two traits that he focuses on in his dihybrid cross. And peas can either be yellow or green, round or wrinkled. So because he was crossing two heterozygous organisms, the heterozygous organisms have a genotype of big Y, little y, big R, little r, and di um, crossed together will look something like this. So we've done monohybrid crosses. Um, which we solved with Punnett squares. How do we solve dihybrid crosses with Punnett squares? Let's actually first look at the scenario of what would happen if the law of independent assortment was not true. So then Mendel's results would look something like this. And we can start again with the basic principles of solving a Punnett square. We begin with our individual and we want to figure out the gamete possibilities for this individual. And if the law of independent assortment is not true, there are only two possibilities for this diploid organism, and that would be big Y, big R, and little y, little r. And the reason for that is because the dominant alleles would be linked together. They can't be separated, so they're inherited together. And the recessive alleles, same thing. They're linked together. They can't be broken into two different gametes, so they're inherited together. That means our Punnett square looks like this, big Y, big R, little y, little r, and same thing on the side. And so our only genotypes, or phenotypes, sorry, would be yellow round, and green wrinkled. So that means you can never have a yellow wrinkled pea or a green round pea. But this is not the case because the law of independent assortment is actually true. And we talk in more detail about how to appropriately perform a dihybrid cross in another video.